Chapter 3, Section 3 Business Objects BPMN is not only about activities. Business objects play a very important role in processes and there is suitable support for representing them in BPMN. A business object can be anything that serves as input or output to an activity. It can be physical, it can be informational, and it, or it can be an electronic entity. Data stores are also important for processes. They persist data that we use throughout the execution of a process. We can represent that data stores serve as input and output for particular activities. Let's look again at our order to cache process. We see here the different events, gateways and activities of that process. Clearly, there are information objects related to that process. Let's look at the description. The purchase order document serves as an input to the stock availability check against the warehouse database. Based on the outcome of this check, the status of the document is updated, either to approved or rejected. If the order is approved, an invoice and a shipment notice are produced. The order is then archived on the order's database. How can we now show these objects in the business process? First, we can show that the purchase order is used for the check stock availability as much as the data warehouse database. As a result of this activity, the purchase order is changed in terms of status. It is now in state checked. This purchase order is used throughout the execution of the process. And you see here how the status of that object is updated to approved or rejected. If approved, there's an invoice created and a shipping notice. Finally, the approved purchase order is stored in the orders database. Not every information that we want to associate it with the different activities in the process is necessarily a business object. Sometimes additional information needs to be represented. In such a case we use BPMN text annotations. You see here two examples of BPMN text annotations. These annotations do not affect the way how the process is executed directly. On the left hand side we see that the activity ship goods has an annotation that says includes packaging. In this way we can make clear what is the scope of that activity. On the right hand side we have the clear vendor line items activity. And we see, based on the annotation, that it is relevant for blocked invoices. 